game too strenuously. She caught it open hand. Now the question is, she goes down, it's a dig. If it's not, it's a block. She's still at the net. Doing a great job reaching way in with her right hand twice there. But the mistake she made was jumping rather than staying low on the ground and passing that ball using three contacts on her side of the net. This is game one of our women's championship final. As Walkholder turns it, I'm Chris Marlowe with Card Drive, Mike Dodd, and Heather Cox. Great crowd on hand, one of the biggest we've ever had here in Chicago. It is jam packed. What a setup. And what a tour. It's the 10th stop on the Crocs tour. What a job the AVP has done, packing them in. Here comes Carrie Walsh. And she cuts it through. Would you serve Walsh very much if you were walk older and young? Well, they haven't really been able to score any points off of Misty May except for one hitting error, but that was more of an unforced error. So it is wise, I think, to mix one in occasionally. And when they really broke through last year in Cincinnati, the way they won was by serving Walsh and trying to force her into passing errors. Nice pass by Walkholder. And she flies one out of bounds. So Walkholder with a hitting error. And Youngs and Walkholder falling behind 16-10. And getting away from their strength a little bit. She, for the second time, ran a back set there. I think they're probably better off keeping their game simpler, passing like this, staying in front of the setter and hitting it off the block. Walkholder punches it through. Walkholder has seven career wins, five with Youngs, and interestingly, her first two with Kerry Walsh. After Misty May had hurt her stomach, Walsh was left without a partner in Europe. And Kerry Walsh picking up Rachel Walkholder, and that was really the coming out party for Rachel, winning on the international tour, her first two wins. She showed people that she could do it. Misty May flying, and Youngs in attack mode. Misty's got it, chugging, 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 and Walsh can't quite get there. But even then, it was hard for Rachel Walkholder to prove she was a great player because she was playing with the best player in the world to win. But since then, she has really proven herself as a solid, stellar this is This is game one, the gold medalist leading 16 to 12.
to have beaten them twice in finals is a, is a real accomplishment to beat the, the best team in the history of women's volleyball. Misty May and Kerry Walsh at the top of their game right now. Here comes Walkholder. And Rachel pounds it through. I'm not sure shots are going to go today because Misty seems to have a lot of speed and quickness covering. Tough to get it over. I think you're going to have to hit the ball a little bit. The only thing is she does have to mix in a shot once in a while to keep Misty thinking and not give her just one speed. Just like a baseball pitcher has to have an off-speed shot, Walkholder needs to use an off-speed shot once in a while. Now Elaine Youngs, the two-time Olympian, 1996. Uh, she was in Atlanta as part of the indoor team for the United States. And of course, uh, 2004, a bronze medal. So that serve out of bounds. Elaine Young says, Cardia Detail, the leading server coming into this match. She had played 119 games and it had 130 aces. That's a pretty good ratio. Over one per, per game and yeah. over probably about two and a half, two and three quarters per match. Yeah, the only player on tour with that uh, combination. That. Oh, Misty May with a left hand. And it's right on top. Walkholder punches, it's out of bounds. Misty May. Wow. I don't think last year she could have gotten to that ball. And that's really a microcosm, a microcosm of what makes this team so great. Number one, Misty May chasing this ball down right here. Number two, Walsh being so fast to give her partner the perfect set. Blockers aren't necessarily known as the greatest of setters, but she gave herself, her partner May a perfect set on that play. Well, Carrie Walsh. Set to serve it. And leading 19-13. And Walkholder taps it through. 14-19. So Youngs and Walkholder playing uh, catch-up. Walkholder last year the most improved player and the best defensive player. Part of that defense right there. Misty with a set. Come on, Rich. Walsh over the top. Carrie Walsh didn't play beach until she was 22. She's now 27. And has racked up 58 wins. It is a game point as you watch Walsh do her thing. A put away specialist. Now Misty will serve it. 20 to 14, our score. Young's, Misty's got it. This could be it. Not yet. Young's pulls it back. Carry for the win. See ya. Carry Walsh and Misty May. An overpowering performance in game one. 21-14. I don't think Young's and Rockholder even played that badly. It's just that Walsh and May made a series of incredible plays, putting the pressure on. Every time they got a ball up, they had a good set and an opportunity to score. So, Kerry Walsh and Misty May win game one easily. We shall return. I won! I won! Everyone wants the prizes that Big Mac gives me. Inspired by Disney's new movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Every Big Mac, large fries, and large drink has a code where I can win a Volvo or many other prizes. Come and get your Big Mac.
you want to know what's real and what's not. Guaranteed Paul Mitchell is not sold in drugstores or supermarkets. Buy Paul Mitchell at your salon and you'll get the finest hair care products in the world. Trust your stylist. Protect your hair. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell. The wave is rolling in Chicago, Illinois. The excitement at being in an AVP Professional Beach Volleyball Tournament. Game one going to Kerry Walsh and Misty May. Set for game two, Liz Masakayan, the coach for uh, Rachel Walkholder, is on IFB. Liz, can you hear us? Yeah, it's really loud, though. I know it's loud. What happened to your team in game one? What happened? Well, you know, I think we're doing as best we can. I mean, Carrie and Misty are playing great right now. We may want to switch it up to Carrie just because I think Misty is on fire with her defense so and she's shooting good. us to death. So, yeah, there's really nothing that our team is doing wrong other than that they had two chunks of a side out and three points, a side out and four points. Other than that, they're playing pretty steady if you just get rid of those two chunks. All right, Liz, we'll check back with you. 21 to 14 in game one. Walker and Young's trying to get their side out together, the traditional side out. And Young's touched the net. What can Young's and Walker do, Coach? Uh, Coach Karai? <laughs> well, they're going to have to start by getting Rachel Walker the kind of set she likes. She likes to come in a little bit inside off the sideline. It helps open up her line shot. She has not been able to hit that line shot very effectively so far. We'll see if she can do it here. The block by Carrie Walsh. Third block for Walsh, first this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the vote is in. Best wave of the 2006 And of course, the, the big difference in the stats from game one were those unforced errors. You will not be able to beat the team of May and Walsh, best team in history, by giving them three points. Young's, Misty May, another dig. Nice up by Young's. And a big hit by Young's. And Coach Liz Mazakine was talking with Young's and Walkholder about what to do when May gets a set a little bit off the net in that last break. And Elaine Young's did just what they were planning on doing, and that is drop off the net, play a little bit of defense, made a great up there, put the ball away, and saved the point. So now Rachel Walkholder, who's 31 years old, getting ready to serve it up. Won three tournaments last year with Young's. And Walkholder is there. So strategy paying off as they get a point on Kerry Walsh. And the other thing they talked about is if they're getting no points off one partner, one player on the opponent's team, go to the other. They weren't getting any points off of May, so try Walsh, and they immediately get a dig and a point scoring opportunity. And Walsh peeved after that last dig, pounds one through. Once again, Carrie Walsh trying to become the fourth woman in history to go over a million dollars. She's won 989,407 smackers. This could be the weekend. Got to win, though. I don't think she can do it if she doesn't win the tournament. As Youngs puts it away on two. Now, in Athens, you didn't like the on two play, Karts Karai, but uh, uh, Elaine Youngs executing it perfectly there. That, that wasn't a planned play, though. That was a path that just went a little too close to the net. 3-3 our score. Oh, nice up. Walk holder. And the resulting poke out of bounds. Game two, Walsh and May leading 4-3 will return to the AVP on NBC after these messages from your local NBC station. If you're looking for the only place with new comedy, we have one thing to say. Hi. It's down to the funniest four on an all-new Last Comic Standing Tuesday. Kidnapped. Wednesdays this fall on NBC. Experience you can count on from people you trust. Dennis Bones, Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News at 11. Coverage you can count on.
vehicles we drive define us in both work and play. But many people have a troubled credit history and aren't able to own the vehicle they want or truly need. That's why there's car credit. Car credit has hundreds of new and used vehicles to choose from, not just a handful, and we make the buying experience enjoyable. So don't give up on your dream. Call 1-800-CAR-CREDIT. That's car with a K. Or log on to carcredit.com. Car credit. It's not where you've been. It's where you're going. Ready to save 50% on new flooring? Just call Empire today during our super summer sale. We'll bring samples of quality brand name hardwood and laminate flooring right to your home. And we'll install your new floors next day. And during our super summer sale, you'll save 50%. That's right, 50%. Plus, no payments for a year. For beautiful floors installed next day, call Empire today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. When you can't get credit from all the rest, Larson says yes. Presented by Nautica. We're in the midst of game two. Let's go down to Heather Cox, who's standing by with Coach Dane oh, Selzy. Heather, ready for that. Coach of, of the gold medalist winning team. And Coach, you guys are up, but there's still a lot of intensity in this huddle. What are you fine tuning at this point? Well, the thing we're trying to keep uh, ahead of this team with is fast thinking out here. We got to really focus on the opportunities that we're making for ourselves and capitalize on them. We're making them, but we're just missing them right now. We made them in the first game, and right now we have to take advantage of them. We still have a bit of a lead, and I feel like we have the, uh, the mental edge and the momentum going, and we just have to focus on the opportunities. And, you know, we're making defensive plays. Carey's blocking great at the net. Misty's running everything down. And our hands just aren't ready yet on a couple of these plays, and that's what we got to get going here. It's good hand digging. But looking good out there. Thanks, Coach. All right. Uh, thank you, Heather. That name sounds like the coach of Misty May and Kerry Walsh, who has had some physical problems recently uh, and getting back into shape, and he does a good job with May and Walsh. There's a good look at Dane, one of the great all-time players. His father, Gene, was a legend. Uh, Dane, an all-star. Uh, he has been well tested this season as that ball is looped out of bounds. Heather Cox, uh, Dane Selznick, physical problems, overcame a lot, didn't he? Indeed, following their win in Fort Lauderdale this season, the 49-year-old coach suffered a mild stroke. After taking a few weeks off from coaching, Dane returned to the team in Tempe, saying he felt completely back to normal and has no residual side effects. Now, his doctor performed countless tests and finally discovered a small hole in his heart called a PFO that they think might have been the root of the problem, adding the stroke may have been similar to the one that New England Patriots linebacker Teddy Bruschi suffered after the 2005 Super Bowl. The good news, Bruschi was back playing football again nine months later. Doctors did say they'll reevaluate Dane in a few months to see whether or not they'll surgically repair that hole in his heart. But right now, Dane said it was a, certainly a wake-up call. It's put things in perspective, and we certainly wish him the best in his recovery. Yeah. Thank you, Dane. Very good guy, and the, he's really developed into one of the top coaches on the ABP Tour. And, you know, about four or five years ago, there were no coaches, and historically, there haven't been coaches in, in beach volleyball. And, and since uh, Dane and Jeff Elzina and, and Liz Masakai and them, and coaching has really been elevated to an art form here. He was one of the trailblazers, one of the first to coach American teams, and one of the first to coach foreign teams. Elaine Youngs, and you can feel that Elaine Youngs and Rachel Walkholder that is just their second lead in the match. They took the lead just moments ago, and now they're up 7-6. A one-point lead, and now back on Misty. Right, come on, come on. Walk holder. Carey chases it down. Walsh is a very underrated defensive player. Youngs waffles one out of bounds on a bad set. Let's take a look at our Bud Light tournament uh, recap. Road to the final uh, for these uh, two teams. May Walsh, uh, all two sets, huh? But got a little challenged in that first one. The main thing is that Chicago can be very hot and humid weather. Both these teams doing a great job of keeping their games down to the minimum, winning 2-0 every time. May and Walsh have done that most of the season. Carrie Walsh with the serve. It's 7-7 in game two. And walk 
Colder gets the kill. Continuing our Bud Light uh, tournament recap. The road to the final for Walk Holder and Young's always more, a little more difficult, but uh, the one with Brandon McKee, McPeak, that was an epic. That was an epic battle yesterday in front of a packed house on Saturday, down 19-15 in game two, scored straight, six straight points to pull themselves back in the match, an amazing comeback. 8-7, Young's. Walk Holder's got it. And the set just not quite close enough. Walk holders there. Young's trying to shovel it over on two. Misty down the line. Got it. So Misty spinning it up into the win. Those are the kind of plays that walk holder and Young's, when they're scrambling, they've got to get the ball closer to the net. Well, yeah, exactly. Walk holder's done a great job of getting that sharp cut shot by Walsh. Let's listen to the whole play. You hear the nobody, nobody call? No blocker? Here the line call. And the nobody call. Communication really important in doubles volleyball. Walk holder now with 10 digs. And Walsh gets another block. That's her fourth. So Carrie Walsh getting over the net. Walk holder is really having trouble getting her line shot working. If that is not working, she's going to have more trouble on offense. Walsh doing a great job. You can see Walsh starts out almost sideways to the net and ends up sideways the other way to the net. That's not optimum blocking form, but still effective with it. Misty May digs overhand, and Walsh can't get there. So Youngs and Walkholder. And Walsh was talking about how she likes to wear some jewelry and a pink hat because she feels her height makes her not not girly enough. So she wants to look a little girly out there, a little girlier out there. Tell you, that's the longest pink visor in the history of beach volleyball. That thing's like a, a foot out over her head. Doesn't seem to make much difference. <laughs> so I asked her, I guess that means I'm being girlier out there too with yeah. my pink hat, right? Well, that's obvious. <laughs> Karch on the injured list, if you're wondering. Been out for four tournaments with an injured knee, had surgery. Hopes to be back by Manhattan Beach, and your partner will be? Talking to Larry Witt. Okay. Planning on playing with Larry Witt. Partners all season. Misty digs overhand, which is legal. And walk holder, traditional underhand. Misty, another dig. Misty's digging it up. Walk holder's there. Misty again. And Misty puts it away. Wow. It's going to be hard to pick the MVP between Walsh and May this year because they're both playing sensationally. They both deserved it each of the last three years, but May showing what a phenomenal defensive player she is, and Walkholder staying right with her in that rally. They each had three or four digs. May's got seven kills and already 14 digs. And Walkholder is not far behind in the dig, dig category, but Misty May has been a much more effective offensive player so far. Walsh and May, one game, one 21-14. It's 11-9 here in game two. Best two out of three. Walkholder. And Youngs floating sideways and blocks another one. Nothing you can do when the ball goes that close to the net. Walsh is going to absolutely smother it for another block. Carrie Walsh and Misty May ramping it up here in game two. They're up by three. Have fun, you guys. Hey, could you say something to the happy couple? Jim, Julie, what can we say? We love you guys. You guys rock. <laughs> and about you, young lady? I wish you all the luck in the world. Hey, buddy, a few words? <laughs> hmm? No, I'm just here for the Bud Light. And Sharon. Shannon. Shannon. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Everybody, Jenny. Julie. Julie.
Nature Valley. Lost Horse Creek, Bitterroot Range, Montana. Where's yours? 100% natural, whole grains, delicious. Nature Valley Granola Bars, the energy bar nature intended. Monday, an all-new Treasure Hunters, and it's all leading to the live finale, worth millions. Ah! All-new Treasure Hunters, Monday on NBC.
this same matchup was in the semifinals in Birmingham, Alabama, and Elaine Youngs felt like she got a little over-emotional, just got really frustrated at losing to May and Walsh. And, uh, they had to have a team meeting about it with their coach Liz Mazakine this week to clear the air, and feels like they're right back on track. Good serve by Youngs. And a free ball coming up. You don't see many. Youngs on the right side. And Walsh is there. Boy, an opportunity missed for Youngs and Walkholder. So it's 15-13 our score. Don't forget uh, Sunday, August 6th. The new era begins for NFL football. Can't beat this, Karch. The Hall of Fame game, Oakland and Philadelphia. Nothing like it. Won't John Madden be uh, inducted into the Pro Hall of Fame there? Two of the greatest uh, announcers of all time. Uh, John Madden inducted into the Hall of Fame, working with Al Michaels, now, one of my heroes. Weren't you saying that they are the uh, Chris Marlowe and Karch Kirai of pro football? No. Yes, I was saying that. <laughs> but uh, it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? That's In our dreams. <laughs> That's the Hall of Fame game. NFL football on NBC. Don't miss it. Once again, uh, Sunday, August 6th. Can't wait for football to come up. All right, back to some volleyball. Along with the John Madden of beach volleyball. Karch Karai, I'm Chris Marlowe. And a timeout taken, 16-13. Walkholder and Youngs trying to hang on. The best team in the history of beach volleyball. Walsh and May putting on the pressure. Misty May now with 17 digs. 
Hardest hit of the day, 42 miles per hour for Misty. Once again, that's half the distance of a pitcher, so it's coming quick. Well, that's got to be a lift. And it is our first referee today. Let's give him a call since he's been good. Ryan McDowell 14, of Denver, Colorado. No wonder he's good. And Alan Siegel of Savannah, Georgia. That's a good point. That when you haven't noticed them at no, all, they've done a great job. Haven't said a thing. Ryan, Ryan gets a kudo. 18-14. Yeah. Carrie Walsh over the top. I was mentioning that they had won uh, 56 uh, tournaments together. And that was one of the great records in women's volleyball. Next best, uh, Shelda and Adriana at 33. But third best all-time men and women, Randy Stokel, Sinjin Smith, won 114 together. As Kerry Walsh gets another block, and Karch Karai can't step us with 75. So they're going to be on you in a minute, Karch. I don't know, you're giving me those hand signals. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. It is first championship point. They're right behind you, Karch. Misty May and Kerry Walsh trying to lock up another tournament win. With a win today, Walsh and May would make it 8 out of 10 on the AVP Tour. Short serve, Young's nobody up. And she puts it away. Not quite yet. So 20 to 15 our score. Walkholder and Youngs haven't played bad, but they just haven't played well enough. Haven't done the little things, made the conversion plays. And Mike Dodd talked about it before. They had their chances, and those crucial plays where they, they get a, a dig and a set, but don't put it away, can be devastating. Really let the air out of sails. Second championship point for Misty May and Kerry Walsh. This could be it right here. Misty May for the win. Takes a whack, yeah. and she has got it. So Walsh and May have done it again. The Olympic gold medalist cruise to a win here in Chicago. And I don't think that Youngs and Walkholder really played that badly. This is just some of the best volleyball we've seen all summer on the AVP Tour by May and Walsh. They're in prime position to win the big tournaments come the rest of the season. So May and Walsh have now won 57 tournaments together. Walsh wins her 59th, and Misty wins her 63rd. And if they keep this pace up, Misty May has a chance to become the all-time winningest player in women's beach volleyball history. The winningest player right now is Holly McPeak with 72 wins. Misty May closing fast. One more look at match point. Kerry Walsh. Dominating at the net, and Misty May was sensational, offensively and defensively. And that took Misty May up to 63 victories, only nine behind now, behind uh, Holly McPeak. And just uh, four behind Carolyn Kirby, so Misty May moving up quickly. And the way she's playing, well, uh, sky's the limit. So Misty May and Carrie Walsh win again. And the greatest, you think they're the greatest team in the history of Pro Beach Volleyball, greatest women's team. Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about that. So Misty and Kerry, we're going to come back. We'll hear from the winners. We have plenty more volleyball for you. So stay tuned. Walsh and May. Yeah. Welcome to my casa. It's your boy, B. Ken. This here's my foyer. This is my game room. This right here is my new suede couch. To the pool, baby. These are my ladies. Monday, Tuesday, when? Hey, man, who are you? Steve. You part of the crew? No, I'm just here for the Bud Light. Who gave you that? When is it? Did you give them that? Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Yeah, this is where I spend most of my... Man, put down my papaya!
Galaxy Wednesday. The all-new America's Got Talent semifinals continue. You blew us away. 15 amazing acts return for their shot at $1 million. The pressure is on. America's Got Talent's two all-new hours, Wednesday, 8, 7 Central on NBC. Back in Chicago at the McDonald's Open, presented by Nautica. Our women's championship final is over, and it was a thrashing. Walsh in May. You look at uh, championship point, and it was just more of the same. They win 21-14 and 21-15. A dominating performance by... Just moments ago, uh, they received their check. They split $25,000. And yes, that is a milestone. Our Gatorade Champions interview is ready. Let's go down to Heather Cox. Heather. And the 57th career win for Kerry Walsh and Misty May. Congratulations. And Kerry, with this win, you surpass and become the fourth player ever in the history of the sport to surpass the million-dollar mark. What does this say about your place 